All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing fine. Thank you so much for watching. My name is MC Dago Destiny, and I'm going to be your MC on the 6th uh, January 2024. It's going to be a Saturday, and Miss Lira is going to be amazing. It is a beautiful thing to come and support this cause. It is a beautiful thing to be at St. Lira Hotel that day because everybody is going to be here. Each and every road will be leading to St. Lira Hotel. Entrance is only 10,000. Is it too much to come and support a girl child? Is 10,000 too much to come and support a cause? Come on! We all gotta be here. And for those of you who have families and love tables, please book your table Holly at St. Lyra Hotel. We all gonna be there. And with me, I have the contestants of Miss Lyra 2024. And allow me uh, to introduce them one by one as you watch them, as you listen to the vibe. Cause on Saturday, we got to be there. Thank you so much as I take in the first person right tonight. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is MC Dogo Destiny, and I'm so privileged, glad, and just waiting for the day to be your MC for this year's Miss Lira. That's going to be happening on the 6th uh, January 2024. With me here, I have my friend who's the, one of the contestants of Miss Lira. Trust me, Miss Lira this time is going to be amazing, epic, and just on point. Um, what's your name? My name is Awio Jennifer Hope, contestant for Miss Lira 2023-2024. Uh, Jennifer, uh, where do you come from? I'm from Kole District, but currently in Anai. Kole, yeah, Kole, ka kwenye ni ena. Aboke. Aboke. Kumbu no pasha pasha kana no. Ah, Jennifer, if I'm uh, really uh, no time to pay you ginaro. Um, um, what gave you the interest of uh, you know you saying let me go and contest this girls and with I see I'm gonna get through because I know the, the 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 hope inside there is just you know. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, I'm here because uh, I want. I would like to advocate for the for inclusivity. Inclusivity. Yeah, yeah and also to inspire the hopeless. Okay. Yeah, and to get exposed out to the world. So how you see this thing? We are going to make it. Yeah. And what message do you have to the disabled people out there, outside there? Those who think they cannot. Let me use that for for lack of word. Let me say that. Those who are outside there and they, they look down on themselves and they think they cannot come for this competition. What do you, what message do you have for them? I would like to advise them not to at least look down on them too much. Eh? Mm -hmm. They should have courage that they can also do something for themselves and also they can at least come out eh? and, and show their potential yeah, and speak out for themselves, not to hide there. Do you have any message out to the people? Uh, maybe you want to call them to come and support you or you know something of that kind? Yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. uh, we are still voting, yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> we have two days left. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you can support me with your votes, mm -hmm. <laughs> I will come them. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So and on the D day, you're also welcome. Uh -huh. You come and give me support. But how are you feeling? How is your how is your blood pressure, your sugar <laughs> level at this moment? You know, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit high. Eh? <laughs> So, and how are you trying to manage it? Is you just, or uh, you're praying every day, you know, God is trying to do something. <laughs> of course, I'm praying. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. My name is MC Dogo Destiny. I can't wait to see you on the D Day, Miss Lira 2023 2024. See you there. I love you so much. All right, once again, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I still uh, me again, MC Dogo Destiny. And I am still telling you that you need to. To prepare yourself to be here at Lira St. Lira Hotel on Saturday 6th January 2024 because it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be you know fantastic right over here uh, with me I have um, a contestant of Miss Lira how are you I'm good how are you what's your name I'm called a team Esther Elam a contestant for Miss Lira 2024 what number are you in the con I'm contestant number four. Number four. Yeah. How is the temperature, the blood pressure, you know, the sugar level? 
<laughs> yeah, of course it has to be her up, down, okay. moderate, everything. It's a mixed feeling. So, what inspired you? I know there are a lot of things you could get involved in and what inspired you particularly to come in for Miss Lira? Uh, what inspired me? I really want to create mental awareness mm -hmm. and I, I, I have a lot of evidence about mental health in Lira yeah. district so yeah. there is need to create a soft space for everyone because there is someone out there mm -hmm. dying in pain with a lot of pain can't reach out to some people but yes I'm here we are going to fight this together I don't know I don't know if I would be too you know to 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 harden the question but my question would be like, how would you help somebody with mental health issues and what? Because um, one of these days, uh, people get it so hard to hope in on what is happening in their life. So how would that be? The first thing I'm going to work on is create a safe space for you. Okay. I'm, very, I'm a very simple person, okay. approachable. Okay. So you can talk to me anytime, okay. and I'm going to create. I have to create friendship with that person okay. to open up to me, and I promise you, you will be okay. And about the competition, do you have the support from home? Yeah, I, I do have support. <laughs> yes. What's no, mom? I, yeah, what's, yeah. what's mama talking about this? My mom is super proud of me, okay. and I promise, mommy, I'm going to make you happy. What about dad? He's also super proud of me. My parents are really proud of me. I know they have my back. Everyone has my back. My friends, okay. my fellow contestants, still well, they have my back. <laughs> well, I love that. I love it when you say your fellow contestant. That's yeah. amazing and that's beautiful. So, how do you see the day on Saturday? I Just describe, you know, how they do. How you gonna feel? You know, I woke up in the morning and all this things. Um, <laughs> excitement, mm -hmm. happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of smiles. I didn't, love. I didn't, I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you where you come from, the village. I'm sorry. I'm from a Yam district. Um, we expecting a, a truck full of supporters yes, from a Yam. Yes, yes, yes. I'm from a Yam district. Right. Yeah. Okay. Finally, can you give us your message to the people of Yam, to mom and dad, to those who are supporting you for this Miss Lira? Yeah. To everyone supporting me, mm. please come through. It's going to be, we are going to have fun. We are going to be happy. Mm. People of Oyam District, Lira at large, each and everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you're able to come, please come through at Lira Hotel on Saturday. We shall be excited to see you. We shall have fun on the runway and everyone. Let's come. All right, you've heard from the girl herself. I don't need to add more right on heat. You need to be here. You need to confirm. Miss Lira, we are taking this to a next level. And wait, I'm going to show you magic on that day as the official Oscars. I love you. Thank you. You know, to make sure they don't miss Miss Lira this time around. It has been a long time since Corona, you know, but we are back big and better. And my name is MC Dogo Destiny once again. And thank you so much for watching. With me here, I have a contestant. Come on, it's going to be amazing. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Miss Alara Naomi Otim. Oh my God, you already miss somebody you heard it <laughs> she's already missed um, um you come from which district oyam is home what is happening with the young people are they coming to rob lira or what we are one so don't say rob we are one okay so basically i'm here because it's a platform where anyone can discover me and i can be discovered okay i have only well, one question for you yes. you're walking along the road and you happen to meet a girl that has never known anything about periods and then maybe she's on it maybe abruptly or something like that she doesn't know how to make parts she doesn't know the use parts she doesn't know anything about it how would you help at the young girl who you know who, who is a leader thanks thank you so much for that question first and foremost i'm so happy that these days at least everyone is killed okay at least everyone especially when it comes to girl child okay. everyone is taught about menstrual periods. When you go to primary schools around Lira district, oh, yeah. at least from P4, girls are already aware of that. But in m I myself, capacity, yeah. I myself, whenever I'm walking in my bag, sanitary towel is like a must okay. that I carry that all the time. Wow. So when I get a girl on the road, definitely I'm woman okay. and I would know, like for example, she has stained herself. Okay. So I would just call her aside, okay. tell her what's happening pick it and give it to her. I would, of course, would first ask her, do you know what, what is happening? Because this is something she could be, it could be her first time yeah, experiencing you it. Them. Yeah, so for that time, I'll show her what to do. Okay. You know, and sometimes, you know, these are young girls. They don't know it's like something very, very new to them. Okay. So you, you tell them what to do. Yeah. All right, so 
what message do you have there to the people who are going to support you on Saturday? And the voting is still going on. Yeah, it's so going on. what message do you have? Are we expecting mom and dad? Are we expecting a team? Are we, you know, something of that kind? Friends, family, mm -hmm. come through. Come through. Even though you're not coming to support me, come and stand for a girl child. Come and support a cause. We are here to push a cause. So everyone, Lira District, all the dignitaries around, come through. Let's support this initiative. Let's move it forward and let the, the city shine. All right, you've heard it from the contestant. And, you know, I'm just getting interested with each and every word I'm getting to listen here. That's why I was having a tricky question, but I was beaten 10-0 on my own game. So, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday, I have a tough question for you. I love you. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're still watching and feeling the vibe right over there because it's still about Miss Lira. And of course, if you're outside there and you're a girl child, I know you don't need to miss on the 6th January 2024. You need to be at St. Lira Hotel to come and support the cause. And if you're a woman out there, oh, come on. And right over here, I don't have magic, but I have a contestant who is you know i don't know if, you know i'm trying to talk to these people and i'm when you're talking to somebody i don't know how they're feeling right now because the day is getting near the preparation is going there come on how are you i'm okay thank you what's your name i'm called the team rebecca nabarro rebecca nabarro no nabarro is a langon name or a it's it's um a western name okay. but but it's from my mother's side all right so your father is a Lange. yes so you are you 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 half kilo western half kilo Lange. <laughs> mm, i know i was just teasing you i was just teasing you right there and so uh nabarro what 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 interested you in coming into miss lira well um i the first time i saw the advert on tv and actually it was on radio right. um I saw that the theme, the theme of the the pageant, the pageant uh, like this year, mm. it's um, a girl for I mean beauty for a cause, empowering the girl child. Okay. I've always needed someone to empower me. Okay. So basically, I am here to empower the girl child. That where I am seated today, tomorrow you might. If you have, if you're given the opportunity to do so, please take it with all your chest. Are you trying to remind me of that song that today is me, tomorrow is you? <laughs> um, yes, it's true. Today oh. might be me, tomorrow might be yours. All right. Uh, you know, I have one person that I've been, I have, I have a lot of dream in my life and that drove me to being an MC. And there are people I see like Miche Guang. When I saw him at uh, African Magic and I was totally come from a party, I was like, bomb, bomb, clad. Wow. I have to be the next Mitch and it drove me to somewhere I appreciate God. So what word do you have to the girl child there who feel, first of all, the ones who feel shy to come for this platform. Second of all, the ones who have negative views about this because people listen to different things they can listen to and they don't know the truth until they get there. And to the parents outside there, some parents don't accept this. I don't know if your parents are supportive of this. Yes, they are. They I are. know that, you know, they're trying to say, oh, girl, if you got something, you know, tell us we're going to support you. Yes, but uh, the point but is, mm -hmm. everyone has, like, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Right. Yeah? Okay. Everyone will speak about something in the way they think. Okay. One, never take, um, yes, take advices, yeah? But never take criticism, criticism seriously. Okay. Because um, this is the best platform you could ever have okay. to create change, to discover yourself, to be your authentic self. Okay. So never ever in your life take criticism as a mechanism to put you down. Please come and support our brand, the, the move to empower girl child in our nation, please. All right, you heard it from her. You want to ask her for his, uh, for his close your eyes. Imagine being the Miss Lee. You are there. You are now the Miss Leader. Somebody almost wanted to cry, but I don't accept people to cry on my interviews, and that's why I'm saying let's first go and cry, and we'll come back. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're watching again. Thank you so much for keeping it uh, on this channel. My name is MC Dogo Destiny, one of the contestants. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Etit Fidi. Etit Fidi. Fidi, you coming from where? I'm from Apache District. Apache District. Ha! 
<laughs> my question is um mpozi what con- number you number what in the contest I'm contestant you? number 5 number 5 but in the game you looking at being number 1 you looking at being the queen thank you <laughs> what 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 interested you in coming out to, you know to contest okay what interest what made me interested to become a queen mm-hmm. it is just the, to be the voice of the voiceless uh-huh. and like the increasing number of pregnant like girls who are getting pregnant so so mm-hmm. made me to like contest so that i can so teach them. you can teach them that you may be you don't need to drop out of school you can be somebody in future you i love that i love i love your view and uh and okay i know them to pay you care joke na ko bani ya bini ko di ko di pieman o bere moni ra bale bere moni ra poi pasu ngongo e kano yini tammi yin ko me le blanc ko me tammi yini nero ni ngo ko di jamini ene onyo ker gina gen ko bane no how can you encourage them ko di jamino joko mlo ha pol gerana e kara penyo joko ba ko pa pol mhm ero ko ka tieni o bero gina me mi yini nya ho bero ker Gani kom gini ti meto kere mi pero inge ye bot jonga e aha yo kere mi da opportunities totale wo kare nyo yi kwano do ko chon ni mo yo ti jobere yo gi ngo kano aman message ngo ini ti kere bot jo me apa ti bot ma me kere dari gi ama ti abino piene ti abi shala baliet ba message ma ti kere bot jo ma apa jo ma apa ti jo lo wun du shu ni namba za duong wana ti ka pero me gwo ko wo kom ka e bino bino na gonya kere voting na poti a mede mena meti wi yamo jo icho ko me google link ay te choye ni african voting platform miss lira 2024 Nunga ko mana ti kuno nya ho ma pa chi ko ma ko mda ti me nya me nya eh please come through we're going to have a vibe i'm going to be your mc of the day and it's going to be my privilege to see you there thank you so much yes thank you so much thank you so much for keeping it right over here uh, intricate media my name is mc dogo destiny thank you so much ladies and gentlemen and i love each and every support people are putting this year it's magical it's different the vibe is too high the support is high for miss lira 2024 With me here I'm with one of the contestant and what's your name? I am Miss Alaba Sara Esther. This is Miss Alaba Sara Esther from I'm from Bohe village. Bohe village. B Akerebi. Puakerebi. Puakerebi. Yes. Is that Lira district? Yes, is that in Lira is? district. So the Miss Lira is coming from Lira district. You don't want to give it. You don't want to say neighbor come and uh, come on you know test test you know. <laughs> This time round you you are like you need to represent I the real to town. My, my city. Oh the my Lira god. City, the municipality. How is the blood pressure? How is the Oh, the, the blood pressure is mm-hmm. 99.9%. <laughs> <laughs> But I am okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the the thing is pumping you're like hey, know, I am calm. you come now you come now everything is oh. vibe now so Just how do you can you describe for me saturday describe for me saturday you know i'm describing our saturday mm-hmm. event on the 6th january 2024 at st lira hotel mm-hmm. um we have creativity mm-hmm. we have the talent show mm-hmm. we have the fashion show mm-hmm. so please come and get entertained we have all in stock for you all right yeah. so you had it from her ladies and gentlemen don't miss Saturday we have all in stock for you and as the MC of the day I have some amazing vibes and comic words you got to be here and enjoy Miss Lira 2024 all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and thanks so much for keeping on this channel and watching us here like I just said my name is MC Dogo Destiny from Intricate Media and I'm going to be the MC on Saturday. That's going to be the 6th of January 2024 where we're going to be having Miss Lira, you know, live at Lira Hotel and I'm so excited to bring to you the Miss Asov. She was a Miss Lira 2019 the girl that came to the limelight uh she was never scared what the blood pressure i don't know the sugar level everything was what and uh, someone that people didn't expect to win but she matched to be the winner that year and a lot of goodies came by it but before we go into that can you introduce yourself to us 
All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Winnie Ador. I Miss Lira 2019. Mm. Currently, I'm a project officer. I work in Kamuli with an organization called Trailblazers Mentoring Foundation. I work okay. with girls. Um, okay. Coming from a girl who had just come fresh from the university, I had just mm. graduated. I was really nervous because okay. I wasn't so sure. There's a lot of misconception around Miss Lira. Okay. And I thought all those things as well. So I was, of course, a bit scared. What? How will people see me? But mm. I'm really happy that my parents were my biggest fans. They were my biggest supporters. They kept pushing me. Yeah, that can is. Can I ask you? Uh, can, can I ask you? Yes. What were your parents? Um, did, did they have some knowledge about the background of uh, things, things like that, or? Uh, no. Um, of course, they had their fears. However. They understood my fears as well, but my father sat me down and told me, you know it is a platform, just like okay. any other platform, it is a platform where you can sell yourself to the world, what you have to offer, hmm? okay. the knowledge you have in your brain, yeah? okay. the skills you have. What message do you have to the girl child out there? Because you see, uh, there's a lot of things that people go through, pressure and all that, and some of uh, the girls out there, death and, let me tell you, okay, I don't know if other people out there feel the same, but the worst feeling is mm. being in a situation where you need someone, but there's no one to talk to, because mm. now people are too spoiled that you can't trust anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So what um, message do you have to the girl child out there? As a person who works a lot with girls, mm -hmm. a lot, I'll yeah. tell you for free that okay. girls have similar challenges everywhere. Okay. I have interacted with girls in Kampala, I've interacted with girls in Busoga region, I've interacted mm -hmm. with girls in Hoima region, and challenges that girls face are the same. What yeah. I can tell girls is mm -hmm. always trust yourself, be the best version of yourself you can be. Don't let anyone push you to do what you don't want. Appreciate who you are. Love your inner beauty. Don't try to chase around because this person looks like this, you want to look like that. Mm -hmm. Because this person looks like this, you want, you want to, to look compete. like that. Be you. You yourself, you're authentic, you're wow. beautiful. That's, that's, and that is the number. That's, that that's amazing. <laughs> Lastly, I don't want to get you too much oh, yeah, on yeah. here mm -hmm. because I know you're a busy person. Oh, As yeah. you said, oh. um, what are the goodies that came oh. with you being Miss Lira? You know, this somebody is very sharp there. Okay, next year, I gotta be there. So, mm. what are the goodies that came with this? Oh, very many things. I won Miss Lira in February yeah. in 2019. Mm -hmm. By March, I had already received my first job. By March, because yeah. I was Miss Lira, yes. Okay. With an international organization called Restless Development. It was a volunteer position, but it exposed me to so many opportunities. I guess now you're restful. I was supposed to be volunteering for one year, but mm -hmm. I volunteered for only six months. Six months. Within six months. I had already gotten a full-time job paid. Okay. I was receiving a six-digit salary. Is it six? Seven. Because I was receiving seven. Yeah. Is can, it seven? It's, million. I, it's, it's I, one million. Seven I, digits. It's seven digits, right? Can yeah. I be your friend? I was receiving million. Can I be your and friend? And I was young. And I was youth. Can, can, can I be your friend? Of course you're my friend. Can I be your friend? <laughs> you know, not the friend of the mouth or something. Can oh. I tell you my mobile money name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will talk. Thank you so much uh, for supporting Miss Lira. And if you're out there, you're an organization, you're a company and all that, please and you love to support the cause, cause, please come and support Miss Lira. Because mm. we're here on the 6th November. 2024 Lira Hotel is going to be a Saturday. See you there. It's a weekend. No excuse. Love you so much. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lira um, City. My name is Shiro Anita Wanjiko. Okay. I am a makeup artist, and in that case, mm -hmm. I am a professional makeup artist, and I believe that mm -hmm. I am the best in Northern Uganda. You believe? I love the courage. I love the fire. I love the vibe. I love the. Are uh, we going to have this vibe keeping until the D Day? Of course. Yeah. I am the one doing the makeup for Li Miss Lira event. I am yeah. the one doing that makeup. I believe that these girls are going to make great queens here in Lira. Mm. Face of Lira City must be face of Shiromati Glam, my business. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you're still watching uh, with me here, I have the CEO of uh, Miss Lira 2024. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, uh, may, do you mind introducing yourself to us? Yes. Thank you for having me, Dogo. My name, uh, MC Dogo. <laughs> <laughs> my name is. Uh, Gloria Alele mm -hmm. and um, I am the CEO of Miss Lira. Mm. 
uh, and I'm very humbled to be interviewed by by such a legend like you. Whoa. Um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> don't don't make me fall down here. You see, when you call somebody legend, uh, somebody out there might or oh, might even walk with me because they might think I have some money right there. Right. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we wanted to understand yes. uh, what is the theme of Miss Lira this time round, and what of all things I know, you are very busy person. Of yeah. all things, you decided to leave your business in Kampala and yes. get back home yes. and do this. Yeah. Why? May we start from the theme? The theme, okay, well, our theme this year is um, beauty with the cause, empowering the girl child. Okay. And why did I choose this uh, theme? I chose this theme because I felt Mm. We need to empower our girls. We are tired of being in the background. Okay. okay? We want to place in the maps. Like, we are not placing in the maps. And okay. um, I think we have very brilliant girls back home here, yeah. very intelligent girls. And I felt this is going to give our girls platform and it's going to take us places. We want to place in the map. So, how much are we paying for entrance? They want an inch. <laughs> we have uh, ordinary, which is ten thousand. All right. Now we have VIP, which is mm. twenty. We have three hundred thousand, which is the VVIP. A table. A table. Is there food or there wine? Uh, there is wine oh, and yeah. a whiskey on a three hundred table, okay. and then we have um, five hundred thousand. There is yeah. food, whiskey, and wine. Yeah. yeah. What if you only want the other food thing was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. What, what message do you have to the people out um, there? Uh, the great people of northern Uganda, um, let's come and embrace and let's come and support our girls come 6th January at Lira Hotel. Um, let's lift each other, let's lift our young girls because they are the generation of tomorrow. So we ought to empower them, we ought to give them a platform that is going to give them confidence to be great leaders of tomorrow. All right, you heard it from the CEO as of. I don't have much to have there. See you on Saturday, 6th January 2024. Yay. I love you. <laughs>